Now, I believe that right now in the history of time probably, or at least the history of my life, it's easier now than ever before to do what you always want to do in life. The money and help is out there. The new internet economy is giving you free expertise and even through crowdfunding is giving you free money. So now is the time that all of us could really have a lot more fun in our life by doing what we really want to do. That's when you're going to give more of yourself than ever before and feel more satisfied than ever before if you're giving harder. And now by using crowdfunding sources on the internet and all the free expertise to do anything you want, man, it's possible for all of us. And, and there's an hour seminar right after you see this introduction that I gave in Scottsdale at the public library there. See, they're even, now this is the public institution. They really even know this and they're trying to get people to do their own thing so they can grow themselves and uh, hire people and they're going to grow Scottsdale. So they even have a maker place right in the public library. You know, and, and I talk now for an hour or so about all the sources, how to do it, and really how to have fun in life. Man, the key to success is having fun and getting crowdfunding too. So that's two funds in a row. Watch this. Welcome, Matthew Lester. Uh, uh, <laughs> Well, it's nice. I, I guess you're not teenagers, so maybe you've seen me on television at one time or another. Yeah. Uh, younger people, you know, they, oh, they just think the suit is cool or something. And actually, the suit has nothing to do with my work at all. Everybody thinks, man, this is a wonderful branding idea or something like that. Actually, they even call me at Harvard Business School to give a, a speech on branding, you know, because of my suit and things like that. And I got there in this big hall, you know, all these fancy people. And I was just having fun, man. I had no idea anything about branding. It was just something I wanted to do. And this is me inside, you know. And, man, that's why I, I think life is, you know, digging inside of you to bring out what is your best part. And what happens, I think, your best part is really what's weird about you. You know, I really think what, whatever's weird about you is probably the best thing you have to share, you know. Like, like me, I mean, my whole life, I mean, I was thrown out of schools all the time, and yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I was thrown out of Jesuit schools, and what's that a, yeah, I hope oh, so, okay. yeah, <laughs> uh, and uh, I was even actually thrown out of the last class of my senior year, you know, I mean, this is, I was, I was sent home for two weeks, I remember, in high school and everything. And I, I was just a pain in the ass because I couldn't sit still, you know. And I wish now that somebody, I don't know if you ever see my TV, you know, when I make a fool out of myself on TV, but I made millions of dollars making a fool out of myself, you know. And, and actually, my, my parents did not admit I was their kid for the first 10 years on television, you know. Because they, they wanted me to be some stuffy, you know, person or whatever. And man, I know nobody would pay attention like that, but I, I enjoyed entertaining. I enjoyed educating. I was a, a computer science professor. You know, I uh, got an MBA in computers back in the 70s. Actually, I, I even had a software company back in the 70s. Yeah, you know? must, but it failed, man. I must be the only person in the world that had a computer company back in the 70s that failed. But, and then I had another company that failed. And I assume you're, all you guys are here because you want to start projects or ideas or whatever. And that's what I think life is about. That's why I want to talk to people like you that are out there trying to do something because it's hard as hell. Yeah. <laughs> and life is just beat you up every damn day of your life, you know, particularly if you want to do something. If you don't want to do anything, then you could slide by and, you know, and, and then you don't have a real good life to me, you know. I mean, to me, life is trying to find out what you really want to do in life, what you think is important to do, you know, and try to do it. I mean, life until no matter what age you're, like I'm 71, man, I, I feel I have 20 more years at least, you know, and I don't want to sit back and retire in Scottsdale, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a lousy golfer. It always amazed me. I like to play golf. I was on the golf team as a kid and all this kind of stuff. And my parents played golf and everything. And I always thought, God, retire and play golf. Why do you want to retire and do something you're lousy at? You know, I mean, I'm a lousy golfer. You know, if I was really good, I'd be a professional golfer, right? Why? But I think the key in life is finding something you really love to do. And it's not working, man. I haven't worked in 30-some years. Yeah. All right, probably 40 now. Maybe I've been saying that for 10 years or whatever. But no, it's because I, I believe in what I do. I can't wait to get up to do it, you know. 
And, and that was really after the failures. That's why it, it and what happened after two failing businesses, I, I, I finally realized, God, I was trying to do it like I got an MBA in computers back in the 70s, yeah? You know? And I was starting businesses and they were failed. I would, I would get all the stuff they were telling me to do, you know, and get the, the power furniture and the, the power business cards. And I got funky stuff, you know? <laughs> and, and all this, and I was failing, you know? The board of directors and the right, you know, LLC or CORP and all that. Who the hell cared? And I went out of business and who won? The lawyers, the accountants, everybody I gave money to to do that stuff. And so my third business, I started to say, God, you know, it does, none of that stuff matters. The only, the only important thing about uh, business is a customer. The rest, uh, you'll figure it out. You know, and I think all your efforts should be in getting a customer. And that's why now in our society, man, with the internet, crowdfunding, all this stuff, I think it's easier now than ever to start businesses with no money. You don't need money. You don't need anything. You just need a customer. And that's the key. And then how do you get a customer? Okay. You know, to me, it, it's sort of like, how do you become unique? Now, what's special about you? That's what I mean, the weirdness. You know, and whatever is weird about you, you know, like in school, I, I thought my name was Sit Down, Let's Go. You know, <laughs> Sit Down, Let's Go, Sit Down, Let's Go. <laughs> I had ants in my pants. I'm, I'm moving around, you know, whatever. And I just couldn't stand still or sit still particularly. And that's why if somebody took that weirdness about me, you see, I finally extracted all that and act like a fool on television and made millions of dollars <laughs> because the camera goes to the idiot, you know. <laughs> and and, and why pay for advertising if, if you could act foolish and get advertising for free, you know. And that's what built my whole business. I never paid for advertising. All the stuff you saw, you know, on uh, whatever, was all free advertising uh, because you don't have to pay for stuff. That's the other thing I think in, in life is, is learning how to do stuff for free. Everybody, every expert there is in the world is going to tell you how expensive it is for you to do something because they're selling it. You know? and, and the key in survival, I think, in doing anything new is how are you going to do it for no money? You know? And that's the key. And you can now because there's so many opportunities. You don't need to be an expert in anything anymore. Man, I mean, I was 70 years old. I mean, the whole game has changed. You don't need anything. You could find anything you want on the internet. You could teach yourself <laughs> anything you need. You could find people to help you for free, you know, to do anything you want. You just have to start stumbling through, you know. And that's why it is a pain in the butt. Everything is a pain in the butt in life, you know, and that, that's the key, no matter what you want to do. Man, it's tough. <laughs> I mean, I still tough it. About all the success, success I've had, man, it's a whole new world. I got to learn all over again. And oh, it's painful. <laughs> I mean, I, I was writing books, you know, for many years, and I don't know how many bookstores are left in town, you know? Uh, especially reference books. Nobody buys reference books. Hey, you know, newspapers are going on business. Magazines, anybody sells information is going on a business. And that's me. And I haven't figured this out yet, but I'm, f man, it's fun. It's fun to try to figure it out. And that's why if you're not having fun what you're doing, you're not going to last <laughs> until you figure it out. I mean, look at all the idiots you've worked for, right? <laughs> it doesn't take a mental genius to do anything, you know. It just takes hanging in there. Until you figure it out. That's all it is. And if you plan on not spending a lot of money doing it, then you can hang in there until you figure it out. If you're going to spend, oh, yeah, if I put a big ad in the, you know, Scott Sale Time, then everybody come running to me and everything. That ain't going to happen. You know? And that's why you have to figure out how to do things for free so that you're around until you figure it out. Everybody has an expert. Everybody's an expert to tell you five ways you can spend a lot of money and make a lot of money. Yeah. Well, if somebody tells you that, you know, what you do is say, <laughs> okay, I'll give you half. Yeah. And so that way, you know, if you think, you, you know, like, like the newspaper say, hey, put an ad in my newspaper, and, uh, you'll get millions of dollars. Well, oh, I'll give you half a million then. You put the ad in. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And that's how you saw me on television doing that. That's how I paid. I said, okay, I'll give you half of anything you want. And on the internet, that is more possible now than ever before. Because that's a, nobody knows, everyone's guessing, everyone's lying, <laughs> nobody knows for sure. We're all guessing, we're all scared as hell and don't know what we're doing. You know? 
And the more you could pretend that you know what you're doing, the more you could charge, you know. When in fact, nobody knows really what they're doing. Even doctors, hey, try this, try that, you know, try it. They don't know, right? They're all guessing, you know. And, and every, every expert is like that. And, you, and now with the internet and everything, you have access to better information almost than anybody else. You know, and, and the people who are making the most money don't have time to get smart anymore because they're make, spending too much time selling themselves instead of getting smart. You know. And because, you know, that's why I think fun. Fun is, is the most important thing, I think, for success. Because if you're having fun, it's a win-win-win. I mean, just think, okay, if you're, you're planning to start a project or venture, oh, I'm going to make a zillion dollars, you know, I'm going to make whatever, you know. And, okay, it's Thursday already, you know, and I got nothing yet, you know. It's a week and a half goes by and still have nothing. Oh, God, you know, you get a little stuff. And, and you don't like it. Somebody just told you you're going to make a lot of money doing this, and you don't really know anything about it, but you're trying hard, and it's miserable because it ain't working. It's sort of like a bad date, you know. I mean, you could tell when you open the door a lot of times, you know, hey, this is, <laughs> you could go home now and probably <laughs> be okay, you know, and you got to go through that whole evening, oh, God, you know, but those beautiful dates, you know, that all of a sudden it's four o'clock in the morning, where did that all that time go, right, and where did that happen? If you're doing something you love to do, you want to do it more than anything else, man, that's what happens. And then what happens is you have energy. You got energy to do anything. You have energy to put up with any shit that happens. You know? You don't care. Because you're winning just by being there. You want to do this. You know, so like people want to play golf. I'm as a golfer. You know, like, you, know I mean, you see golfers go in the rain, the snow, and hey, you just want to be there, you know. And I remember when I was a golfer, I was like that. <laughs> and and but then when I went to work, I wanted everything perfect, right? <laughs> I wanted to have a nice office, a nice this, and everything. But I'd go out and play in miserable weather for 36 holes, you know, all day and night probably, you know, the most miserable thing in the world, because I wanted to be there. So why shouldn't all your life be that way? Some place where you really want to be. And that's why I really feel that because life is so difficult, there's so many hurdles, and nobody knows what's going. You're guessing no matter what, no matter how much advice you get, how, many, how much stuff you get from anybody else, and you're guaranteed. There's no guarantee. But if you're happy doing it, man, you're winning. Because you're happy now every day. What could be better than that? Working for a million dollars, then you get that, and what do you do now? You still got to do something. <laughs> right? And I think life is about doing something. Doing something with your life. What are you going to give the rest of us? That's what we're here for. You know, your talent, your expertise, or whatever it is that you're passionate about. What are you going to give us? And that's the good part. I mean, that's why I think when people get old and they, we're given, they just want to play lousy golf or something like that and throw vegetables at the television or <laughs> complain about stuff and yeah you know. well, why you know and that's what's so neat about I mean it doesn't matter how old you are or what talent you have or whatever there's something there for everybody to do and it's easier before you wanted to sell something when I grew up man you had to have a store Right? You need a store to sell something. I want to sell clothes. I want to sell food. I want to sell a, a store. And, and in today's turn, it turns out it costs you hundreds of thousands of dollars to open up a store. Now, you know, for a hundred bucks, you put up a website and you start selling shit. Yeah. That's all you need. You just need customers. You know, you start asking experts what to do and things like that. They're going to wash you through how to spend, you know, $10,000. And then start finding a customer. No! You start finding a customer first. Forget. I mean, even though, to me, you don't even have to file with the government. Because you'll probably be out of business in two or three years anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll take those suckers five years to find you. You'll be out of business. So what the hell? You know? Or if you're still there in five years, you pay the extra 50 bucks or something like that. You don't have to waste your time doing that. Without a customer, you're nothing. And, and, and that's what's so neat about the internet and everything right now. You could just have an idea, a dream, a, a thought, uh, an, uh, whatever. And you work on a website or, or a crowdfunding site or whatever and see if people are interested. 
Because that's it. If you're asking your, your mother-in-law and your friends and everything, they're not going to buy your stuff. You know? <laughs> they probably are not. You know? I remember what I do with commercials all the time. You know? I'd tell my friends, you know, show them beforehand and get their advice and make all the changes and everything. They don't realize about you know, five years of doing that. Man, these suckers never bought anything from TV in their life. <laughs> yeah, they're all snob or yuppies. You know? They don't buy from TV. Oh, no, no. And, and so it was just trying. The name of the game is trying. Trying anything. You know, uh, the only thing you know that's wrong to do is nothing. Nothing. Anything else is right because nobody knows what works. So what you have to do is keep trying stuff. Keep trying stuff. Yeah, you know, <laughs> that doesn't cost money. <laughs> you got to figure out how to do this without any money. And you can. And you keep trying stuff because you don't know what, no matter how much advice you get, you don't know. It's all art. I mean, it's all like you learning how to walk. You're going to try something new now. If you're trying something new, a new idea, project, or whatever it is, it's like learning to walk. When you try to learn to walk, what'd you do? If you remember, <laughs> at one year old, you crawl on the floor, you know, right, over to the coffee table and you know, get up, and then you fall on your butt, right, and then you, you know, you do that a hundred times, right, until you learn to walk. And what do our parents say? Now when you're trying to learn to walk in a new gig, they're saying, don't do that, you're going to fall. Don't do that, you're going to fail, right? They want to protect you. Oh, restarting in 14 minutes. Uh, uh, postpone, I think. <laughs> uh, and, and, you know, that's why our loved ones are our worst enemy. Because they want to protect you. When in theory, you have to go out there and fail. I mean, it's fun, free, and failure. That's what it's all about, you know. And you won't hang in there long enough until, unless you're having fun. That's why I think that's the most important ingredient is to find something that you think you're, you're passionate about. And it'll, it'll evolve in something else. That's another thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect because you don't know what the hell perfect is. Nobody buys perfect anyway. <laughs> yeah, look at all the crap we buy. <laughs> it's less than perfect, right? But that will lead to something that you never even thought of. You know, and that's the key to life to me, is finding these things that you just try and it leads to something. That's why I'm here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But if I got, you know, 20, 30 people in a room here that have ideas or looking for help, and I, and I know, I mean, in my work, what I do, I believe there's a free answer almost to anything you want to do in life. And that's what I think the key is in life is staying healthy, staying, you know, interested, Staying lovable, because that's the other thing. I mean, how do you stay lovable, especially as an old cranky fart, you know? <laughs> and I think if you're giving and trying to give, I mean, that makes you lovable, because you're out there not just worrying about, you know, oh, it's going down, the temperature is going to be two degrees less today. I think I better stay in, or, you know, all those little things we worry about. And if you're doing something you really love, like playing golf, you don't care what the weather is, you just want to go out and hit the ball. And you find something, then you get positive feedback. If you really like doing what you like to do, you'll get positive feedback. Yeah. And it doesn't have to beat a lot of people. I mean, all you need is 10 customers, 100 customers, or whatever. You don't need a million people to survive anymore in anything. Yeah. You have an idea. If you think this is an idea, then, then it's all about finding the people who also think that is an idea. Maybe it's not your friends, but man, now on the internet, you can go anywhere in the world for nothing and try things and, uh, and see if it works or not. Yeah. And that's what's available, like never before. And even making money. I mean, that, that's a, if, uh, you know, if you're not making money out of your own business or whatever yet, there's so many other ways to make extra money now that I never knew about. I mean, like like an Uber thing. Uber. You have you Uber in town here? Okay. Well, Uber. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is what's happening in our society. Uh, here. Uber. Okay. Uber's five years old. Okay. It's the second bunch of stuff here. 
Okay, their value on the stock market is $18 billion after five years. $18 billion. That's the same value as Hertz and Avis together. Okay. How many employees that Uber has? 1,000 to 2,000 employees. How many employees Hertz and Avis has? 60,000 employees. So here's a company owns nothing but a website. Just owns a website. That's it. But it's a market. They create a market. So if you want to go out and pretend you're a taxi man, where are you going to find a customer? People, millions of people a day are going to Uber every day looking for somebody to give them a ride. And you get an app, and Uber wants more people. I mean, they're making $75,000, $80,000 taxi when they want to work, whenever you want to work. You don't have to, you know, like you work for a normal taxi, they want you to work 1,000 hours a week or whatever, that kind of stuff. And, and you're, you know, you're your own control. And they even have money for the markets. They're looking for people in Badly is to get you money for a car because they don't want you in an old clunker, you know. So here you can make part time. I, I know federal employees that in the weekend and night times are making 20, 30, 40 extra grand doing that. I mean, it, it, to me, it's unheard of. I mean, there's, no, <laughs> there's nothing you could do. What would you go? You know, we deliver papers. I mean, in my generation, you, know, you drive a taxi, but the taxis, these are not taxis. I mean, because you're not, they're safer because it's everybody is all pre, no, but you don't handle money. You know, the website handles all the money. They say, hey, this guy wants to go somewhere else. They already have the credit card. They have everything, all that. And you don't handle money, so, you know, it, it, it's safe as heck. Yeah, safer than, and it's growing. Yes? I went to a comedy club a few weeks ago, and they all handed out Uber credit cards, and they said they'd take it anywhere you wanted to go for 20, 20 miles. Yeah. Right. Right. Exactly. Hey, uh, or here's another thing. I mean, but see, th that's okay. We're creating value. Things are growing. See, that's why if you look at exponential growth that's going on in something, old stuff is not growing anymore. It's just going to continually shrink. You know, and, and you know, it's not going to go away. It's sort of like radio. Radio is still here you know, after television and everything, but, but it, it was never a growth industry anymore, you know, and, and, and smaller. So the same way like, like the taxi cab, I mean, it'll, it'll still be around, but it's not a growth. I mean, if you're growing exponentially, like, would you rather have, uh, let's see if I have this data right, if, uh, if I give you a million dollars today up front, or a dollar a day and double that for the next 30 days? What would you rather, a million dollars or double? What? Uh, you take the dollar? Yeah. Yeah, that's a billion after 30 days. I mean, that's when things grow exponentially. That's what happens. I mean, look at, you know, Uber, five years and they're already $18 billion. Airbnb, I'm staying at Airbnb here. Okay, how many know about Airbnb? Maybe know of it a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I used it the first time in, in uh, I just came back from Shanghai about a month or two ago. It's the first time I used it in Shanghai. And it was terrific. Mainly because I was trying to get, uh, interviews and uh, speeches and things like that. I was working on it for five months beforehand. I got a handful, hardly nothing. I got one, the, the, my Airbnb landlord there hooked me up on a, uh, for a speech in one place on a Saturday and I got 50 things to do after that, you know, just from there. I mean, it is not, the concierge at any hotel is not gonna do that, you know. <laughs> And this is what it is. Now, so I said, well, let's start. We have an apartment where we live. I live in the suburb of Washington, D.C., and we have a little apartment in one bedroom, which I love. I'm an urban guy, and I like urban, in, in a place called Adams Morgan. And he said, well, let's try this in IBM, because we don't use it all the time and put it on. And we put it on at Christmas to try this thing. I mean, in like two, three weeks, we had $4,000, $3,000 worth of business. Wow. That was found money. Nothing I knew about. This guy, I'm doing the Airbnb from now, he just goes, stays with his buddy. 
<laughs> Where did he get somebody? So I'm giving him three, four hundred bucks for the three, four nights or whatever it is, you know. <laughs> and so, uh, he don't, and, and he's great. He showed me the, the best restaurant, the best thing, the that and everything. And, and anytime I text him, I want it, you know, instead of the concierge at a hotel that will, you know, is making some money off of every place they're selling you or whatever it is. Yeah. You know? And this is, you really have a friend. Yeah. You know? And we got people that are staying at our place now. I mean, they're, they're fun people. And, and, you know, we go out to dinner with them and things like that. And, and that's why it, it, it is, who would have thought? I wouldn't have thought like that. And look what happened to this business. Okay, Hyatt, Hyatt Hotels, okay? Uh, their Hyatt market value is 10 billion. Airbnb is 13 billion. And they've been around for about five years now. So now bigger than Hyatt Hotels in their market value. The other thing, how many rooms does Hyatt have? 150,000? Airbnb has 800,000 rooms. 800,000. How many employees? Hyatt has 75,000. They have like 1,000. See, all this new wealth we're creating in our country is not the same anymore. It's not hiring so many people. I mean, you see they're, they're buying, you know, Google just spent a billion dollars for WeChat or uh, one of those things. I get confused what they all are. But 50 people. 50 people, and they spent a billion dollars on this sucker. <laughs> yeah. I, that's, yeah, a billion dollars, like Boeing, <laughs> yeah. with all the employees. It's not there. But what happens now, you have other ways to make income with this. Because, see, what these do, they create, you know, you put your thing on there, well, it's the marketing. Anything, like getting a customer. You know, you could say you could do anything, but if you don't have a customer, it doesn't matter what you do, right? So that's why if you put your thing on one of these, wow, you're getting traffic, customers. Like me on YouTube. I mean, I'm trying to get people to come to my place on uh, uh, to buy a website. No. Man, I mean, I, I'm growing up to two, 3,000 views a day, you know, after about a year and a half or so, you know. I mean, I couldn't get that time to try. I mean, that's not paid for. It's just volume and stuff like that. Or now, another way, I mean, you have something to sell. Another way is on, like, Udemy. Do you ever hear about Udemy? I mean, these are places that people buy for information. You could do a course on how to stop a backswing or something like that, yeah. And people are making millions of dollars doing this. I mean, they have thousands and tens of thousands, 20,000 worth of uh, courses on there. It, and it's a platform. It's very simple to learn. It takes a little while to learn. But who cares? You can learn it. And anybody, any age can. Because otherwise, you, you just get a kid to help you or whatever if you get stuck somewhere. <laughs> uh, but it, it, it's a tool. Now, all you have to have is that invest in that idea. Put, you know, you want to train somebody how to do something? You put it on there, and they get traffic. It's not instant. You still have to push it, okay, somewhere. But it takes no capital. It takes no investment except your time and figuring this thing out, you know. So you're, most of us sit there, oh, if I only had. Oh, if I had. You know, that's over. You don't need that anymore. I mean, like apps. You know, you know what apps are, you know, all that stuff you get on. <laughs> uh, okay, the first week of nine, 2015, a half a billion dollars in apps were sold in one week. A half a billion dollars. I mean, th that's astounding to me. Last year, iTunes sold, actually, iTunes sold... $10 billion worth of apps. So you want to write a book anymore? No, you write an app. Yeah. And they sold $10 billion, And that's how much money they gave the, to the creators. See, what's neat about all these new ways to make money is that there's no middleman. You want to write a book or something? Man, okay, I got to get an agent. Got to get an agent, get a publisher. I got to you know, do all that. And you're lucky if you get 5%, right? 10% if you really know somebody. Here, you get, well, actually, on, uh, unlike you to me, you get 50%. And if you're marketing it yourself, you get all of that. But from their traffic that they're giving you for free, you get 50%. 
And you don't need experts. You don't need anybody. You don't need gatekeepers. You don't need, you just need an idea and one of these platforms to make that idea happen. I mean, I, I think it's like n nothing else in the history of the world that I could remember that it was, is so neat now to be able to do things, you know, without any money, any expertise or whatever. It's all easy enough to figure it out. And like, even if you, like now, I, I think it's silly to look for investors <laughs> for your business. I mean, why? I don't know about you. Uh, I've had a couple of bad marriages. You know? <laughs> and, and getting an investor is getting married, man. You're mar we're marrying somebody. And somebody fat cat with money, you know what they want? Money. They don't give a shit what you're doing as long as you're making money, right? But if you're doing something you love to do, something you think is important to do, and that's the only way you're going to find success at doing it, if you choose something you really love to do, because it's so hard to do anything, you're not going to put up with all bullshit. <laughs> you know, unless you really want to do it. And that's the key, wanting to do it. So you really want to do it, and, and you get Mama Warbox <laughs> to invest in it. But Mama Warbox, all they want to do is cash out in two years and, you know, run away, you know. But it may take three years. It may take four years. Plus, you have to hire their boyfriend, their girlfriend, their relatives. And, you know, I mean, oh, man, it's hard enough to get by in life. <laughs> yeah. How many live with people? You know, you get another person in the equation <laughs> and it complicates the issue. So if you're trying to do something you really want to do, and that's the key in life, I think, is giving as hard as we can before we die. What else is more important? You know, and giving. Man, because, I mean, I think giving is the most selfish thing in the world. Because it feels so good, right? I'm finding some deserving bastard to give to. So. <laughs> but it is. And so that's why, you know, your talents, whatever it is, you want to give it as hard. I mean, everybody says, well, I want an easy job. Why? I mean, I understand. I mean, I get trapped like that, too. I want it easy. You know? I mean, you want to play basketball with a five-year-old? You'll win, right? <laughs> All the time. Why do that? That's going to be boring life, isn't it? But we want to do that, you know? And I think, see, now, I think jobs... Traditional jobs that we all grew up in, well, at least I did, uh, you know, you get a job, you get a pension, retire, all that. I mean, those days are over, you know. And because the companies don't care about individuals like they used to, and nobody treats each other, so you might as well have your own. Now, <laughs> no job is safe anymore. So if you have three customers doing something, <laughs> that's safer than one boss who may not like you tomorrow morning, you know. <laughs> or somebody from headquarters decides to sell the whole thing, and who knows where you are. So I mean, it, 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 to me now, what's happening in our society, it lends more to all this. And, and, and like, uh, I, I sold millions and millions of books talking about grants in the government, and they're real. But this is so much better, you know, like crowdfunding. I, t I think as an entrepreneur of any kind, first of all, it costs nothing to try. And you just do it, put it on, and you fail. So what? That's the only way you're going to learn. It's like, you know, I said, like, well, I, I'm not going to learn how to walk unless I could run a 100-yard dash in nine seconds or something. Nah, you put up your ass, try it, and fail, whatever. Who cares? You know, I mean, things like that. You're looking for money. Okay, you're looking for money from investors. You're looking for money, crowdfunding. You're looking for money the government or whatever. Crowdfunding, no credit checks. Nothing. Yeah, no matter what you're credited, I don't care. It's all about your idea and how you present it. So you could be in hock up to your keister or the sheriff after you or whatever. Doesn't matter. Yeah. And that's why you're not going to find it like that anywhere. Uh, no income requirements. Yeah, well, they go to the bank for money, right? Whoa, how much money you got? Oh, you need money. Oh, no, we, we only get money people don't need it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you don't make enough for us to give you money. <laughs> That's stupid, right? <laughs> you need money. No, they don't care what income requirements, okay? So, uh, and nobody telling you what to do. I don't know about you, but if you're an entrepreneur and want to do stuff, you want to do stuff because you, 
you don't like being told what to do <laughs> and you'd rather be doing yourself uh, and that's why any other relationship they're telling you what to do the banker the investment advisor or whatever it is also you need no background or education on anything it doesn't matter I've interviewed and, and if you go to here here how to turn ideas into dollars with no money I, I, I've interviewed probably about four or five hundred people who've gotten money everything from 12 year olds who got like thirty forty thousand dollars because they were playing on their computer doing something I, I don't even know what the hell it was you know. <laughs> or this guy here he was pumping gas one day and and yeah, he had an idea for something and went on and now he's getting a thousand dollars a day uh, through crowdfunding, doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, I it it doesn't matter background. I talk to more and more people who have, you know, no expertise in what they want to do. It's the expertise is out there. I mean, it, it, especially over. I mean, I have people that I, I work with all over the world, and they work for a fraction of what we we work for. You need expertise, like. Uh, how to r run a 3D printer or whatever. Man, I mean, someone write that code. Probably for $50 you could get that done, you know, on the Internet, on Guru or one of these places where you get help to, to do things like anything you want to do. Here, if you put an ad in the paper, someone, someone's going to charge you $500, $5,000 to do that, you know, because some big company will pay that. But you don't have to, you know, if you know what to do. You don't need accountants, you don't need lawyers, you don't need grant writers, you need nothing you know, that you would for any of these other kind of ways you, you, that are traditional to get money. The downside is there is no downside. Because so what if you don't get it? You still don't have money now, right? So you're going to learn something from that process so that next time it'll be a little better. And you start learning about it. It's sort of like learning how to play football, basketball, tennis, or whatever. Sure, the first time up, you know, you barely get the ball over the net or whatever. But man, the next time, well, that's all the way life works. Why is it? Why do we think we want to do one thing out of the gate and, and play for the <laughs> Super Bowl <laughs> next Sunday, you know? No. That's why it's a wonderful place to fail. Uh, and you get your money in 60 days, 30 sometimes. So you get money right away. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's just a way. Uh, and you get money before your customer has a product. Now, this is the most amazing thing. See, what you do is you go on the, well, I, I'm going to, see this big gulp? Well, I'm going to make a gargantuan gulp or whatever the heck it is. I mean, twice as big or whatever. You don't have to have one. You know, you just sort of have a picture of it or whatever you think. You and if enough people say, hey, that's cool, I'll buy it. Here, here's... You know, and you say, well, to, to start making my you know, first batch, I need $5,000, $10,000, whatever it is. You know? And so you have a, a limit you get. And it, they all run a little differently. Some you have to have a limit and make it. Some you don't. You just get whatever you have. And, and then the people just hope you send it. <laughs> I, I, it's incredible. And that's what happened. Very few, if any, people really get screwed. Uh, and actually, on the big, about anywhere from 50% or more of the people who are using this get what they're after. I mean, that's an incredible way. I mean, like applying for a grant, 20% is a lot. Yeah. I mean, there's some grants that everyone who shows up, but, it, you know, that's, that's different. It's a complicated answer. Uh, and so you get all the money, so it's like getting all the money, then you go make the money. That's what I used to do when I first started doing books. I used to not even have a book. I want to see if anybody would sell it, if anybody would buy it. I said, hey, I got, I, I got this book, honest. Yeah, <laughs> this is before crowdfunding. And I go out and add everything. And then, oh, yeah. And, and then I'd, I'd make it and sell it to them. <laughs> and that's what you can do this legitimately now instead of the way I used to do it. Uh, also, what's neat, you get free publicity. See, if you go to one of these big crowdfunding sites, it's advertising what you're doing, what you're special at, what, what does this need? And then people are going to these sites now looking for new products, stores or outlets or people with internet sites to sell things. They come to these sites looking. So you get distributors. A lot of people I know go and, and do these 
crowdfunding you know, projects, they don't care if they get the money or not because they'll get contacts in the industry who sells this kind of stuff, distributors and stuff like that. And that's where the real money is. Yeah. Uh, get paid for free publicity. Uh, and it also, to me, the greatest thing about this, it tells you if your idea is good or not. See, there's no other place, I think, that you could do a twofer. See, you, you know, normally if you're looking for a venture or whatever to, uh, to get money, you have to go get a fat cat or an investor or, or a bank or whatever it is. You have to convince them that you're really smart. You know, and there's a market for this. They don't know, right? So they're going to get snowed by you or not and believe in you or not. And that's what it is. But after you sell them, particularly they're not your customer. So you don't even know if this sells yet. So you got a whole bunch of money, you go make it, and then hope it sells. Now that's the old school way of doing it, which is stupid, because then you have a garage full of this stuff. Like me, I got a lot of book titles sitting in the garage that I swear was going to be. <laughs> and the publishers gave me a lot of money to print. <laughs> Nobody bought it. <laughs> I didn't care. I got my money. But uh, they have it in their garages. Yeah. But now you go out and... Hey, you got customers. You got 300 people that want this. They gave you money already. You don't even have it yet. So not only do you have the money to make it happen, you are guaranteed there's a market for this. And you haven't invested a nickel. I mean, that's going to spur, I think, development in our country like nothing else. Because but you'd have to do that in a year. Figure out how to get the money first, then figure out how to sell it, if somebody's going to buy it. Or, now it's a twofer. And so you lose, eh, then you think of something else. So that's why I think it, it, it just, we're going to grow so much faster uh, as a company. And it's all over the world. It's not only here. Uh, this is what's going on. Over, I, mean, I interview people all over the world where it's Shanghai or the Netherlands, Russia, all these, everyone's using this. This is where it's going on. Uh, and you can get money for any reason. It's not just entrepreneuring. You get it as a nonprofit, uh, an invention. Also, just to live on. I, mean, I talked to a guy on Kickstarter. He wanted to develop some stuff, uh, like games, and give them away for free. And, and he raised $80,000 just to live for the year so he could keep doing what he wanted to do. There's another website called uh, Patreon, P A T R E, uh, Pat Pat Patreon, like the patron. Uh, and, and dot com. They give out, I mean, I interviewed the guy who runs their site about a year ago, and by the way, all this stuff is, oh, is that what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I, yeah, right, I see. Uh, <laughs> and and, and I, I talked to them about a year ago when they first started, and they were just for artists. You're a writer, you're a dancer, you're a uh, sculpture, anything in the arts, video you want to do, anything. They, you go on their site and get people to give you a monthly check every month. I said, how many people are going to do that? They're now giving out a million dollars a month. Darn it, a million dollars a month. Kickstarter now gives more money to the artists than the National Endowment in the Arts does. <laughs> right, I mean, things are changing so dramatically, I think, in our society. And in a way, it's becoming easier to get your ideas. And I think life is really just trying to, to do things in life. I mean, to contribute. What are you going to contribute? How can you? So now it's easier than ever, I think, in the world to contribute. Yeah, and it's never been before like this. And ways to make money. It's just not traditional ways. Yeah, and you know, think about them. And that's why you've got to get dirty and some of this stuff and just try it. And that's the only way. You try it. So you figure it out for an afternoon or a night or a weekend and do one of these things and you fall on your butt and uh, you figure it out a little more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this is now bigger than government stuff. It's easier. You know, there's no forms. There's no nothing. And you get the money, you know. If it's good, it's not. Everybody, you don't win all the time. But it's like the... It's better than playing lotto. <laughs> yeah. And it'll lead to something. And that's the key to all this.
Uh, it all leads to something. Oh, I was going to have. Uh, let me see if I could get. Oh, is she bringing that back up? Oh, oh, nice. And just like banks, I think they're going away. First of all, I mean, banks uh, have gone from a point where they were. Uh, 30, 40 years ago, we're just a small percentage of our, our, our you know, economy, and now they like quadrupled in size, you know, and we don't make anything anymore, you know. And like, uh, speaking of makers, I mean, that's what you guys are makers here. I mean, like, if you have a 3D printer, now there's a website that you could go on and just say, hey, I have a 3D printer. And you make stuff in your garage or your kitchen table on your 3D printer for other people who want stuff. I mean, I, I got, talked to a guy I interviewed who's, who had a suction cup wine glasses for the shower. <laughs> and he was making them 3D printer. So what he was doing around the, everybody with an extra 3D printer, he'd pay people to make them out of the 3D printers on there. Well, now drones, there's another site now, Uber for drones. See, now you want, like, uh, you're a real estate agent, you want somebody to get a copy of this. Well, if you, you have a drone, you put it on this website, and now, see, they're giving you business. See, all these websites are, they give you customers. That's the important thing. You want to just make extra money. I mean, they're task rabbit. You know, you used to have to go on to, you know, put an ad in the local newspaper that I'm available to do stuff. Now, people are, millions of people a day are going to, Task rabbit looking for people to do stuff. Yeah. And so they're coming to you. And that's the magic of the internet. That's what's going on now. That that's why these big companies, all they have is a website, but they bring traffic. The name of the game and all this is traffic. Oh my goodness, it's twenty after already. Uh you know, I only got to about twenty three percent of what I was planning on covering. <laughs> <laughs> but let me answer some questions, because uh, I don't want to keep it too long. Yes, sir. Uh, I have a question about safeguard your idea. Safeguard your idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you're worried about that. First of all, I mean, uh, it depends on what kind of idea. I mean, uh, all inventors like that, and the lawyer profession lives on that and makes a lot of money. It depends on what kind of idea. Go to your business development center, SBDC. The librarian here will tell you where that is. They'll show you how to protect your idea without going to lawyers and all that kind of stuff. You know, and they're wonderful people, and they're free. You know, I mean, the business development centers are uh, phenomenal to me. It's probably the best deal. You need marketing help. You need a, uh, accounting help. You need any kind of, uh, you know, f filling out an application, any of that kind of stuff, all for free. You want to learn how to get a government contract to help you do all that for free. Yes. Who else? Ma'am, you ha I, I stopped you earlier. Oh, was that? Oh, that's right. You were the one saying fire, and I didn't listen to you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> But I believe in it. I mean, I, I, I really think that it, it, it's so special in life to be able to contribute. And I think these tools now make it easy to contribute. And I, I think what, and I think the most things that stop us from contributing in life is stuff in our own head. You know? And how do you get rid of that bullshit? That's what I love about failure. I mean, my first two businesses failed. Thank God, because I got rid of all the stuff I thought I had to do to start a business. You know? and, and that's when I said, hey, this time I'm going to have fun. The first two times I didn't have any fun. And I used to think that if I failed, I'd be walking around with a big F on my forehead and everybody would point at me. And Nobody cares. We're all involved in our own life. We don't really care about you at all. <laughs> and, and that's sort of a an interesting thing that happens and that's well I say that's why I think if you have fun then you win you're winning every day if you have fun even if you don't get your million dollars man you're playing every day yes who makes my suit <laughs> this I have now uh, this is part of the genre I had where uh, I might get a cheap suit off the rack and then I find some seamstress to sew these on 
I was a seamstress to sell these out a lot of money. Then I went online. <laughs> I went online and, and also the, the suits, men's suits are baggy and I like tighter clothes. So I found this place online, actually it's from Sweden, making tighter clothes. And I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get your suit and I'm going to put question marks on it. Oh, we'll silk screen it, like for 50 bucks or 100 bucks or something. Oh, wow. You know, it was cost me more than the suit to have that done. So it comes in the box, and I get this box from Ho Chi Minh City. Oh. Yeah, uh, South Vietnam. And this is guys I were fighting 40 years ago. I was in the Vietnam War. Now making my suits. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, ma'am. And do you think Scottsdale is like a really great place for like young entrepreneurs to like start their whatever they're doing? What is it? Say that again. What? Is Scottsdale like a really good place? Scottsdale, you said? Yes. Scottsdale. I don't think it matters. Well, first of all, it doesn't matter because your market is on that internet. Worldwide. Yeah. It is all over. And, and, and it's. It's slowly learning. Just start with something. Build a website, whatever it is. Fifty, a hundred bucks, or you know, you could get them for free even. You know, um, you know, there's a couple of websites, or, or the blog. What, what, what's the big blog that you could use a website? Just a blog talk. No. What was that? Yeah, just just start. You know, because then you have something, then get feedback and. Yeah, here, people probably here. Yes, ma'am. What are your top five favorite crowdfunding and successful programs? Five funding successful programs. Well, I think, to me, there's, there's so many th things, you know, like that arts thing. I mean, that's a, see, there are a thousand different f crowdfunding websites. Yeah. So when in doubt, go with the bigger ones and, and, and stay away from the real big ones because the, the smaller ones will get more personal help. So it's a good, better to learn on one of the smaller sites you know and but then there's others like see to me I think it's all you can I, I, I talked to a lady the other day raising two thousand dollars to pay a dental bill she was abused by her husband and has a bad teeth now didn't have money for that so she's going on a website to do that there's another a one just for people who need money you know like vets who need seven hundred dollars to you know, for a utility bill or something, and they help them raise that kind of thing. You could be a hero. I mean, I talk to these lady, the people who go on some of these to help other people. You know, that's what's so neat about it. Now, she was driving down the highway, accident in front of her. She stops to help this guy who lost his hand. She's holding him, you know, as the ambulance comes and everything like that. She goes on a website, raises $75,000 to get him a new hand. So you could be a superhero. There's no reason not to do anything. You don't have to go to a government office to ask for help. You don't have to go, you know, whatever. I mean, that's the power of this stuff. We all can, and you, no matter who the hell you are, you could go and do this. That's the neatest thing in life. A percentage. Very small, like 5%. Some do none percent. Yeah. But they will take, and only if you get money. So if you're not getting any money, they're not getting any money either. So that's the way to work. You only want to work with people who have skin in the game. You know, you don't want to hire somebody for $5,000 to do something for you. You don't know if it's going to work or not. Well, that's stupid. You're going to run out of $5,000 very fast and not be able to do anything. The future of crowdfunding, it just get bigger. I mean, it has to. It, it just gets to every. Well, it, it's new. I mean, how fast it grows. I mean, it's already so secure. I mean, it, it, it makes everything else look pretty dumb. I mean, nothing's guaranteed. It takes work, and you've got to go. But it's something you could learn, and you've got to start learning this because this is the way to do it. Yes. Yes. I mean, I think the real answer is there's a thousand different ways to do it. There's people out there that will charge you a lot of money and say this is the best way to do it. 
and, and you don't know and they don't know for sure either. And my theory is don't give them any money and you try what you think is the best way. Because to me, if you try somebody else, that's why I think trusting your own decisions, nobody knows it works anyway. So if you take, hey, Lesko said this, I'm going to try that, and it fails, you say, oh, Lesko's an asshole. I knew it wouldn't work, you know. <laughs> but if you say, hey, I think this is going to work, and you try it and that fails, then you're invested in it, man. You're going to, hey, why didn't that work? Mm -hmm. So you're going to pull that apart and learn from that. Because I got a lot of traffic. I got like 5,000 people, over 5,000 yeah. people go to the, the site, and they all liked it. They all signed up on Facebook. They all forwarded it, and one person donated $5. Yeah, see. But so, right, exactly. <laughs> well, well, that's that's the that's the problem with the internet now, is that's why it, it it likes everyone wants likes and who the hell, who cares about likes and you know, views? <laughs> you know, if you're not giving me money, I'm not helping you. <laughs> yeah. And so it, it's okay. Change the game plan. It, it, is it? The because it's like information. That's why one of these other places like that. Uh, you know, you have a course on the subject instead of just giving the information for free or whatever. Or you could do a fiver. You know, if you have something that's five dollars, see that's another a website where it gives a lot of traffic, and you sell it for five dollars, and they're really getting you know, the traffic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's all, in, and I have all the philosophy. I have it broken down. So if you want to be a writer, and I, I have business cards over there um, on the table. That, uh, whatever. And, and this is YouTube Matthew Lesko 70. I started this when I was 70. Yeah. It's fantastic. I sat there for hours. Okay. But it, it's fun. I, I spend all, and I talk to people all over the world on Skype from my. Uh, yeah, this this is my kitchen, and now I'm in my living room, be, or dining room back there. I have a question. Yes. So as you go from country to country. Yes. Culturally, what do you find that's different about the way people are approaching what you're saying? Everyone is so exciting. Uh, all these people are so. Wonderful to talk to. I have not run into a dud. Maybe out of a thousand, I have maybe one dud, some pompous ass or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to me, that's a dud. You know, like a venture capital guy who thinks they're the smartest thing in the world. You know, I have no time for all that. And, and people who are doing things and doing what they want to do, and they're the most exciting people to be around. You know. Because they're doing what they want to do, fail or succeed or whatever, you know, and they're exciting. And I get energy talking to every one of these people. I can't get over how, and, and, and I don't take any money from doing this. And I'll, I'll talk to them. And I'm really, because they believe in this, and I could believe in it too, the way they are doing it. So it doesn't all work, and you never know. Or, and, it's exciting. There's just so much to go. And, and see, I mean, in 30 days, you could be up and, and down already to see if it works, you know. And that's what's exciting, to learn for the next step. You know, and that's why, to me, if you blow the wad on everything, that's why you do things without the money, because then you're in the game. You keep, you're only in the game until you run out of money. So that's why you keep doing things without money. And you talk to experts, they're going to tell you how to spend money, because they have something to sell you. And so you can't. They're guessing anyway. You know, we're all guessing. Nobody knows what works. So that's why the more you try yourself, the more you're going to learn from that mistake to grow on it. You know, instead of throwing a lot of money at something and it won't work, and then you just get pissed. <laughs> yes. I have a question about uh, uh, crowdfunding sites. There's uh, I have a friend that's trying to raise some funds. He's on a, They have a. They're on a pivot. Yeah, give for, oh yeah, give forward, yeah. They're a wonderful. I know the two couple uh, is a Yeah. Well, it, give for talk to the people. They they're one of those sites that really help you. You know, and, and with ideas and I like the other thing. I mean, like to me marketing everything. I don't know what works anymore. And 
and the, and you don't know, but the, what you have to do is keep trying new stuff, new stuff, no matter what it is. So you need somebody to help you brainstorm on something new you haven't tried anymore. You don't know what's going to work anymore, but you, you just, wow, who the hell knows, you know. Uh, but yeah, Give Forward is a very one, yeah. The, and and that, that's a lady who was a waitress started that bloody thing, you know. And, and people coming in to uh, wait, you know, like from their cancer patient or something she was talking about, and they needed yeah. money or whatever. And she said, well, why isn't there a site like that? Yeah. So this lady by herself and her sister started this. That's what I mean. It takes, now, she's not some high techy PhD or whatever. No. You know, and, and it doesn't take that anymore. That's what's so exciting nowadays. No matter who the hell you are, out in a degree, any education, and we're going to get you know, now because we're, we're all sucked into this education stuff because you get a job or whatever. I mean, now, I mean, God, you can go on a website and learn how to code in four months. Open source. <laughs> yeah, but not only that, but coding for four months and get a job for $90,000 guaranteed. I got those videos of people who do this. They're companies because people need those coders. No matter what your background is, you go on an intensive course, 70, 90 grand like that. And they pay for the course because the people want it. Yeah. So, and now there, there's, I've, uh, now with online, I mean, right now they're, they're, they're Arizona, right? The University of Arizona here, they have a $10,000 a year, you know, uh, course, you know, you get a degree. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a lot cheaper. I mean, we, we got more student loan debt than we have credit card debt. And that's just stupid. You know, people are, are ruining their lives because of credit card debt because somebody said, oh, you're going to get a great job if you get all these degrees. And, <laughs> you know, you need skills, you know, and a customer. Anything? Uh -huh. Was it close to what you thought about or, or what? Really? Yeah, but you were pre-sold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there, there's three big ones. It's Kickstarter, Indiegogo, GoFundMe are probably the three biggest kind of thing. Yes, it is a personal thing, but now you will hear because, like everything else, everything. Oh, it depends on the video. I mean, I, I talk to people who get so much money, and, and they just did a video with their iPhone. You know, other people spend ten grand on some production company doing video, and, and, and pfft, you, the whole thing is speaking from the heart. So when in doubt, you do that. I mean, that's, I mean, that's what I see in, in my work, too. I mean, I used to do home shopping. Everybody home shopping? And I, I'd go on there and sell. I'd go down like 30, 30, sell 30,000 books in a day. Yeah. And it was a great place. It was like live Broadway selling, not like a commercial. You know? And you go and you know what works and what doesn't work. And, and all I knew, there were two things that I needed for success. One is my enthusiasm. If you don't believe in what the hell it is, why the hell should anybody else? And if the idea is worthwhile. All the other stuff that said, well, you should have testimonials, you should have this. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's tweaking and it doesn't matter. So it's really, if you don't have that heart in it that this is important for you, then how are you going to give it to some important for somebody else? You've seen that all over. I mean, how, you know, you date somebody or whatever, if they don't give a shit about you, you feel that, right? <laughs> <laughs> the last question is, can I get a picture? Oh, yes. And my other question is, can I put it on my Anywhere you want. Oh, yeah.